that is being witnessed in the National Assembly, particularly at the, uh, at the Senate seat. And that is why, because in the last, it was over two years, and there is no way in Kogi West where you can find a constituency office for the Senator, where you can even lodge complaints, where you can reach out to him. He has been inaccessible, he has been unreachable. You know, there is no constituency progress I'm going to show that there is somebody representing us in the last two years. And uh, people, representatives are meant to portray the interest, to convey the position of their, of their people. There has not been one town hall meeting. I have a House of Red member that is representing Kababune Jomo Federal Constituency. Each year he conducts his own I mean, town hall meeting to present his stewardship and then also take back feedback from the people so as to enrich uh, whatever motions and bills that he will be raising here. We have never had such in the last two years. Uh, under the representation of Senator Dino Melai, and these are major, there has been a major gap between the Senator and the people of Kogi West. What in dividends of democracy? We have his co senators in Kogi states. Where will have Senator Gembe? He just got his mandate from, uh, from, 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 from Tribuna, and when he got it, just in one year, he has empowered all his constituency. He has done a lot of youth empowerment projects. Where we have our senator who has been there for almost two for, for over two years now, and no impact. Instead of him to come and develop his people in every other means he has capacity to do, he said he will be in the National Assembly shouting, making noise. How many of you came for this uh, today? We are here with about ten of us here. 
who are here to submit our petitions and all the record registers are here with us the total people of people the, the, the total number of people that signed the records are one one hundred and one one eighty eight thousand five hundred and eighty